Welcome to your weekly peace report. This is the peace dealer. And welcome to the last full week of Libra season, where it's compromise or die. You don't have a choice. But you do have the illusion of choice. So have fun with that. This week, you get to show the results of your hard work six months ago. Building your super self. Do you believe in your super self? We're going to see. Oh, we will. And what makes this week extra special and cringy is the square we're going to have with Venus retrograde and Mars in Aquarius. Have you ever seen a bitter couple fighting in public, even though they could have had a room to just have their squabble? They just had to let the world know before Venus shouts to Mars, that's why yo dick small. It's one of those weeks. And the sexual Kirks that you're going to have to find a way to make sense of, which you will still demand you try and fail with swag. It's very important that you don't feel guilty for the excessive horniness you will continue to feel as the week progresses. The end of this Libra season assembles your tribe, and there will at least be three key people that will be highly instrumental as you begin at a greater level to emerge your super self through the vehicle of interpersonal relationships. Don't be afraid to tell others they suck, but don't be mad when they tell you that you suck too especially if you do. With that said, we have a special correspondent to read and interpret the transit of the moon this week. Sir Oreo, could you let us know what's going down? It's the Black Cracker here to interpret the moon transits. Thank you, Peace Dealer, for the job. It was either this or stripping. The moon will be transiting from Capricorn to Pisces this week. In Capricorn, you'll feel like you're dying. In Aquarius, you'll actually die. And in Pisces, you'll feel like drowning. This week is going to suck. But please make it through, just like you do every other week, I guess. There's really nothing else for me to say. Just, just survive until the moon is in Aries. Holy shit, brother, you look hideous. And with that, a word from our sponsors. Hey, Buttercup. You gonna let me come over and toast to your strudel? <laughs> Only if you know your life path number! Of course I know my life path number. Young fool! Do you need to get laid? Well, go to this website to learn your life path number. In this fully interactive and just totally amazing numerology report, You'll learn all sorts of stuff about your life path number and why it's amazing and how it can get you ready. Because that's what you want. You learn your life path, your birthday number, your soul urge number, your expression number. You need to know that. Your personality number as well. There's really no reason why you shouldn't click on the link in the description box below. And you'll get a really amazing report. What are you waiting for? Thanks, man! Hey, baby. Soul number two, I'll be right over. All in all, folks, make sure that the relationships you have been building for your entire life reflect the person that you want to be. Because if you have scumbags around you, well, I think you know where I'm going with this. And that's the fact that I saved a lot of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. You can too. Until next week, peace.
don't want to wait, I just want to taste Looking at your shape, shawty you look great Thinking if I should say what I want to say We can disappear and run away Wanna fly